Hi, my name is James Sullivan, and along with Julie Grasso, I'm one of the owners of Double or Nothing Reads. In our newsletter this month, Julie and I decided that we thought it would be a great idea to do a video on clipping the tip. Clipping the tip is something that we all have to be able to do ourselves. The reason being, reeds change, as you know. They change because of different climates. They change because uh, they're in the mail. Um, they change after you play on them a while. The breaking in process, the reeds might change a little bit. But even as you continue to play on it, that reed is going to continue to change. So when I'm making reads in one part of the country and mailing them to you in another part of the country, you just have to be ready to uh, be able to clip the tip if you need to. Um, how do you know if you need to clip the tip? Well, when you put your lips almost all the way down to the thread, in other words, you're not helping the crow at all, and you blow, we call that the thread crow. We want that note to be a C. We want it to be, I should say, at least a C. When I've played other oboes besides the ones that I'm playing now, I've, I needed my reeds to crow more, more like a C sharp. But we'll say a C or above. So um, the way you know when your reed is flat, even if you don't crow it, is when those octaves aren't really in tune with themselves. Like your low note, like your low A, your high A, low B flat, high B flat, B and C, those octaves should be almost all the way in tune without having to do too much work with your embouchure or your airspeed. So the most important thing about clipping the tip is that you clip with a very sharp object. We prefer razor blades. I have had teachers and good friends that, that clip their tips with a very, very sharp knife but I've always had better luck with a brand new extra sharp razor blade. Julie is gonna do a demo on the clipping of the tip. But the most important thing to remember is that you wanna clip almost nothing off the tip. Uh, I think it was Tabby Toe that said if it takes you three or five tries to even see anything clip off, that means you're doing it right. The worst thing you can do is clip too much off the tip and make too big of a clip because then your reed's gonna be too hard, maybe sharp, um, too resistant, and then you're gonna have to scrape. Otherwise, you should not really be afraid of clipping the tip. If you clip that teeny tiniest little sliver that you can barely see, it's so narrow. If you clip that small of an amount, you really shouldn't be afraid to clip. I used to be afraid to clip my tips because I was afraid it would change the sound or change the read too much. When in reality, it, it was because I hadn't learned yet how to balance the tip, make it even, and I also hadn't learned how to make the tip gradually get thinner as it goes off onto the plaque. So if you are able to do those things, you really shouldn't be afraid to clip the tip. And certainly the reads that you get from Julie and I, um, we try really hard to keep it balanced in a way that, you know, if and when it needs to be clipped, you should not be afraid to do that. So I hope this video was helpful. Julie's going to show you um, how to clip a tip. Um, and please let us know if we can help you out in any way. And thank you for letting us serve you and for being our loyal customers. We appreciate you and hope this was helpful. Thank you. Thanks for the great information, Jim. Here's a little demonstration of how to clip your tip. We like to use the gem razor blades. There are definitely lesser expensive razor blades, but these are really, really sharp and give a very precise cut. So it is worth a little bit of extra money and you'll need a cutting block. So to start out, make sure your reed is soaked. And then I like to start with the reed parallel to my reed desk. And then I tip it up and kind of splay that tip onto the block just a little bit. Take my razor blade and find the very finest little amount and clip it. And there it is, just about a hair's width is what you should start with. Hope you find this helpful. See you next month.